Polls have closed in the third phase of the seven part elections in India. There are 545 seats to be filled in the lower house of the parliament and votes have now been cast in 284 of them. We bring you everything you need to know. Three down, four to go. India has voted in the third phase of the world's biggest elections. 93 constituencies across 10 states went to polls. And many of those ballots featured prominent faces. Union Home Minister Amit Shah is seeking re-election from Gandhinagar in Gujarat. And that is the seat where Prime Minister Narendra Modi cast his vote. Another closely watched contest in this phase is that in the seat of Baramati in the western state of Maharashtra. A Pawar versus Pawar battle. Sitting Minister Supriya Sule is facing her sister-in-law Sunitra Pawar. 11 out of 48 seats went into polls in the third phase of Maharashtra. 258 candidates were in the fray and we saw 2.06 crore voters were eligible to cast their vote today. Among the 11, we saw key constituencies being Baramati on the top, uh, where we saw a high-stake battle between the Pawars. We are looking at uh, the fight between the daughter and the daughter-in-law. This is the first time perhaps it has happened in Baramati since 1999. On the other side, another key constituency was Ratnagiri and Sindhidurg, where we saw Narayan Rane, the union minister who was earlier with Shiv Sena, was fighting for the very first time on a BJP ticket. So, of course, BJP is uh, campaigning very hard on the seats where Shiv Sena has been a bastion and this is one of the seats. So, the outcome of this also will be very significant and might change the political scenario, might change the political landscape in the months to come. Down south, the state of Karnataka has concluded its elections in this phase, with polls in all remaining seats. Union Minister Prahlad Joshi is fighting from the Dharwar seat in a bid for a fifth consecutive term. The Lok Sabha polls in Karnataka in southern India have come to a close after the second set of 14 seats voted today. Ten days ago, it was the first set of 14 seats comprising southern part of Karnataka and the coastal belt of Karnataka. Today, it was a turn of central Karnataka and northern parts of Karnataka to vote. So more than four crore people have voted and decided the fate of their candidates, more than 220 candidates. So with Karnataka having been completed, there are three southern Indian states, major ones that have completed voting. First phase, it was Tamil Nadu, 39 seats. Second phase, Kerala, 20 seats. And now Karnataka, 28. What remains are the Telugu belt states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Andhra Pradesh, very, very crucial given that there's simultaneous polls there for the Lok Sabha and also to determine Andhra Pradesh's next Chief Minister. In northern India, two key states in the Hindi heartland went to polls. In Madhya Pradesh, former Congress leader and BJP stalwart Jyoti Raditya Sindhya is contesting from Guna. While former Chief Minister of the state Shivrat Singh Chauhan is contesting from the Vidisha seat after two decades. When it comes to Uttar Pradesh, there's a very interesting contest between the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party and the Samajwadi Party that is contesting elections in alliance with the India bloc. What will be interesting to see is if the Yadav family of the Samajwadi Party can claw back the stronghold that it once had in the region. Or will the BJP maintain its stronghold in terms of the Modi magic leading the way forward for the third time in a row? Voter turnout in the phases so far has been marginally lower than the corresponding phases five years ago. Your report, we on World is One. Now to take this story further, senior journalist R.K. Upadhyay is joining us live from Bengaluru. Mr. Upadhyay, good to see you. What was your biggest takeaway from today's uh, third phase of India's election? Well, I think the biggest takeaway or a uh, uh, bit of a disappointment is that the, you know, the percentage of voting is not going up. Right. I mean, in the, in the first two uh, uh, phases also, we saw it was a very uh, lukewarm response. 
and uh, uh, everybody was hoping that at least the third phase it will pick up. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be. Of course, uh, we need to wait for the final figures, uh, which the Election Commission will be able to uh, release tomorrow or so. But this has been a very, uh, you know, keenly contested uh, you know, third phase, I would say, because uh, the all of uh, 26 seats in uh, Gujarat went to polls today and 14 seats in Karnataka. Uh, thus, completing the you know the elections in Karnataka, Karnataka has 28 crucial seats, both for Congress and the BJP. So we also had Maharashtra, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, all other states also having their polls uh, today. And I think the highlight was you know uh, we saw uh, you know some of the ministers, union ministers being in the in the fray. Uh, for example, Jyoti Rajesh Sindhya was there in the election. Um, and then you had, uh, uh, you know, people like uh, uh, Shura Singh Chawan contesting the Lok Sabha election after 18 years. I mean, he had been an MP for five terms earlier, but never been a union minister. And, uh, you know, he was responsible for uh, 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 the BJP doing well in Madhya Pradesh just uh, uh, about three, four months ago. And now he's being put up, uh, you know, in the Lok Sabha, uh, which means that I think the BJP has bigger plans for him. Uh, possibly he could be uh, getting into Modi's uh, cabinet at the centre uh, after having you know such great experience of right. uh, being the chief minister for I think 16 years in Madhya Pradesh. So, uh, but Maharashtra is very important and very interesting because there you know you never know how things are going this time because the, both the Shiv Sena and the NCP have split and the two groups are in two different uh, uh, the groupings in the uh, UPA. So, so. Uh, I don't know how the people would have reacted to this uh, situation because the uh, Sharad Pawar family, which is at the center of this, uh, you know, controversial, uh, uh, you know, split right. in the parties, uh, you know, the siblings are fighting against each other. So that is not a really good, uh, you know, sign for the uh, NCP right. uh, Supremo, and we need to see how things go over there. All right, Mr. Padia, thank you so much for getting us all those insights. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.